Hello, I'm Zardis. Grab some coffee, sit back, and chill as I teach you something really simple that uh, a lot of people know, maybe you don't know. But uh, in a comment recently, I had somebody ask about how to create a center turning lane in a road. And when I first read it, I thought about a, a dedicated left turn lane, which is possible. And I said, oh yeah, you can totally do that without mods. And then I just realized that they meant a center turning lane, which isn't possible. But I'm going to tell you how to do a, um, a, um, a, a, a dedicated left turn lane. There we go. Words sometimes don't always come together. You don't need the road builder mod. You don't need traffic mod or anything. Let's just say you've got a road like this. You've got another road here and another road here and you want an intersection or you've got an intersection there and you want turning lanes well that's what the asymmetric roads are for we've got say a three lane asymmetric road here and we want to have a turn lane coming in here so we're going to create a new node like this and it used to be that you could double click and that would create a node but uh it actually that was a bug in the game that has been fixed and even though it was an awesome feature to have, apparently it was causing issues elsewhere. And so we don't have that as a, an option anymore. But um, you can just create a new a node the old fashioned way that we used to do in City Skylines 1. And that is to just build a new little road there and then you have a node there. And so then we're going to go to replace with the asymmetric road. And we're going to go like that. And then we can come back here and delete that road. And lo and behold, we have our dedicated turn lane. Now, the traffic signal will not have a green arrow type of thing. But if you wanted to do this on all of the uh, parts of this, you could do that. You could come in here and go like that and get your asymmetric road there. And by the way, when you replace, if you weren't aware of this, what you want to do is you want to come in and you need to do this and then you need to click and drag it in the direction you want it to go. So I'm clicking, I'm holding that left mouse button and I'm pulling it in the direction I want. And so we can go in there and replace that and we can come in over here as well and get one more here. Then what we want to do is we could also do this with the larger roads as well. And so say we want to have this be a four lane road. We could do that. We could uh, come in here with our four lane road. We could grab the five lane asymmetric road and we could go like that. And we could go like that as well. And we could do this. Uh, one important thing to note here is that briefly there we had if we come back to this three lane road notice there's also a dedicated uh, right turn lane here too so straight is going that way right turn is going that way left is going that way that is because of lane mathematics so we have three lanes here and they're going to one two three lanes so then the game knows that the one on the left can go to there, that one can go there, and this one can go there as well. And so doing lane math like that is another way that you can make sure that you are getting the roads the way you want them to be. Now, let's say we have this here and then we have four lane roads out like that. Now we've got the same idea where we had four lanes, we add a fifth lane going into the intersection, and that is our dedicated left turn lane. And I didn't use any mods to do that. So this is something you can do without any mods. If you do have mods like the traffic mod, you have a lane connector tool. And that is really useful because then you can come in and you can specify exactly which ones you want where we could remove unsafe inner or, uh, turns actually let's keep that uh, unsafe would remove anything that is um uh, uh, basically unsafe to do so you can see it's going to remove those u-turns it's going to remove right turns into the second lane which is that's all good to do and of course i often like to remove u-turns but sometimes it can be good to just have like a u-turn there Whereas in vanilla, 
you've got them, they can go into either lane. But yeah, anyway, so that is what you can do with lane connector. And then road builder allows you to create just, the, you know, the different variations of the road as well. But that is how you can do a dedicated turn lane without mods. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know if you have any other questions that I could answer or uh, really show you how to do in the game. That is really helpful. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.